Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Good morning, everyone. Let me wait for folks to get into the room. We'll get this beautiful day started. Everybody hear me okay? There we go. Sounds great. <laughs> and you come on in. Everybody say hey. Announce yourself. Let's see who all the beautiful people are today joining us. I hope everyone had a really good weekend. It's, it's definitely... Uh, Really beautiful here in Arizona because it actually got cold over the weekend. We actually are kind of in, hell, I think fall is our one. Oh, Haley. Well, let's do it properly. Good morning to you, young lady. Hi. How's the future so far? Ah, quite tasty to me right now. Mmm. Coffee. Coffee. Woo. Yep, got my Coffin Comics cup ready. I'm going to get Coffin Comics stadium cup ready with water. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, for when things get real fun, we got the little pint glass here. And if we went to go extra crazy, well, I got the shot glass. I think you guys know what I'm going to be showing some stuff for you today. Haley, how was your weekend? What did you do? Uh, and was it a lot of fun? That's more important. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, okay. Let's see if you can actually see my head this time. Okay. Everyone make your announcements. You come on in. And I'm going to start off by uh, making a couple announcements, guys. Uh, Friday, this Friday, we are wrapping up the new Hellwitch Kickstarter. So if you guys have been debating, well, you got till Friday. You have till Friday to join the Hell Witch Chapter 3 Kickstarter Sacrilegious. Um, there will be a link right off over here. I'm, depending on where is that? Up here, over here, right there, right there. I'm voguing while I'm showing you where the links are. There you go. Okay, so... Uh, there'll be a link for a Kickstarter. There'll be a link for the Coffin Comic Shop. There'll be a link for the Catacombs, which will be uh, some really nice, cool, rare items I have for you all today. Or it could also be some onesie twosies. Hey, these are the last five copies I got. Pow! Bringing them there to you guys. So real quick, um, William Shaner, thank you for joining us. How was your weekend, sir? I hope it was good. I hope it was good. Um, <clears throat> Weekend was fun. It's nice and cool now. I'm upset my landlord made us take down our gazebo. Uh, it was nice to, you know, sit outside under a nice little canopy. And then the landlord's like, take it down. So I had to take it down. So that was a total no bueno. But you know what? That's why I'm looking to buy a house. <laughs> Anyways. Good, good, good. William, uh, what... Type of shenanigans were you up uh, to this weekend? If you don't want to say, you can say, ha ha. And then I know, okay, he had a crazy night. He had a crazy weekend. He went, ha ha. <laughs> All right. Uh, Haley, by the way, that kitten you adopted is pretty damn cute. Um, we at the house have been enjoying the little pictures and videos you have of them. So, you know, good on you. Cute little... Cute little bugger. All right, real quick, guys. Um, we've had some um, over at the coffin shop. We have a new section in merch. We now have glasswares, which includes our stadium cups. I believe we're selling sets of four. And water tastes so good out of a coffin comic stadium cup. I recommend it. And I recommend it for you, too. And then we also have the beautiful Coffin Comics mug, which I think you guys saw me sipping out of at the beginning of the show. So, ah, nothing like great tasting coffee inside of my great Coffin Comics coffee mug. Next up, some other cool stuff we put up in there. The pint glasses. These are really cool. These are really, 
well-made glasses are nice and thick. Um, when I'm at home, I like to have a brewski in it. Or sometimes I like to have a mixed drink in mine. Because nothing looks great like a rum and coke inside a Coffin Comics pint glass or a nice cool beer. Or if you don't drink, a refreshing soda pop. And it looks so pretty. And for those who, well, like the rest of us are crazy animals, um, we have the Coffin Comics shot glass. This comes in a set of four. These are great to do shots out of. I think you've probably seen me at quite a few Kickstarters doing shots out of these, um, or probably other shows. But anyways, hey, who's calling me right now? Don't be calling me. Sorry, honey, I'm doing a show. <laughs> Can't answer the phone live on the air. Um, but I'll get back to you after the show. Anyways, so we have the Cough Comics pint glass. Mm. Soda definitely tastes better in a Cough Comic glass. <clears throat> Next up, some other cool things we've added onto the store over in the catacombs. Let's get this ball rolling, folks. Let me move this beautiful kitchenware out of the, the viewing area. Get my water over here, so got my coffee. God, I love coffee here. All right, Found another one of these. Uh, this so far is looking like the last one I have available that I have found in all my different stocks. This is the Miss Death BP edition. This is an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive from last year. Can't wait to check out Seattle in the future here once everything gets taken care of. Another BP edition, the Damnation Strike edition. Um, also, tomorrow, or I should say, if you'll notice, uh, there is a lot of things off the catacombs. Um, just so you guys know, stuff will be up for a while and then it'll cycle out. Where it will go after that, I don't know. Um, you might see it for a little while, but it'll probably more likely not be around for a year. So if there's anything you're seeing, you see it disappear, reach out to me just to see uh, if we still have it or we sold it. Um, I'm always willing to help you guys out. Inquiries at coffincomics.com. Just put, hey, Julian, I'm looking for something. And I'll do my best to make sure, see if we have it for you. So, And all those people that have been sending me your amazing list of wants, thank you very much. Um, I really enjoy doing this for you guys. And hopefully I'm able to find you guys exactly what you're looking for. Um, I know there's some additions uh, I'm not too familiar with. But once I find them, I'll go through my list. And if you're on it. I'll reach out to you. So thank you everybody for those lists. Another really beautiful book. This is another BP. I think today is going to be the BP day because I got a lot of uh, BP editions and some APs. This is the Dragon Wars Serene cover. Scott Lewis is the artist. Another older edition book. <laughs> Thank you, Haley. <laughs> I have one of these. Most of the stuff I put in the catacombs, everybody, is usually onesie twosie, or, you know, hey, we have the last five or ten, and then that's it. Once they're done, they're done, or we just put it away and stash it for when there's cons or a rainy day. Another beautiful edition here on the BP show. This is the Lady Death Gallery 1 Death Crawler Platinum Edition. This is a BP. It's an homage done by Marat Michaels. Um, I was very happy to find one of these because um, I know these are real popular and I haven't seen very many Platinums yet. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to seeing what other cool editions I can find of that. Another beautiful BP edition I have for you guys. This is the Lady Death Extinction Express. This is the Chaotica BP edition by... Dan Mendoza. I really like this. This is a really cute, adorable piece of work he's done for us. I really enjoy it. So thank you, Dan, for being a contributor. We have a lot of really good contributors uh, for cover artists. Um, 
exclusives, interiors. We, we just got some of the most talented people working here at Coffin Comics. I found three more. This is the Oblivion Kiss Chase Editions. I have three. No, I know already people are always like, oh, can you tell me which one is in which bag? No, that ruins the surprise. You got to chase it down, people. Chase it down. But I know in the Swarm Nation, uh, there's a lot of people that definitely um, do some trading and swapping to complete their collections. And it's a really wonderful community. If you all haven't uh, checked it out yet, I highly recommend click on and join the Swarm Nation on Facebook. I don't think you'll regret it. There's a lot of really beautiful people in that group and they are helping each other uh, complete collections, showing off their collections, boasting about their collections. It's a really great group of people and collectors um, and I highly recommend you sign up for the Sworn Nation. Check it out, Facebook Sworn Nation. And that's where you'll also find the Wednesday show at noon, the Catacombs. See the catacombs? I found one of these, and this is an as-is item. This is a Nick and Dent. This is the Swimsuit Naughty Premier Edition. It is signed by Brian, so it does come with the COA. This is sold as-is, as-is. Another beautiful as-is item. This is also signed by Brian and comes with the COA. This is La Muerta Retribution. This is the Naughty Edition. Forgot my fingertures, so I'm just going to... Beautiful piece. Look at this. Get it while I got it. Really good price on this. I've only got the one of each of these. This one swimsuit and one of the La Muerta Ascension Naughty. Alright, I did some digging. I went to the treasures. I went to the mountain and I yelled to the comic gods. Give me something to show these beautiful people. And let's place it on the catacombs. And I found it. I found a Blasphemy Anthem Metal Legend Edition. This is number 12 out of 13. I was really excited to find number 12. I knew there was at least one or two floating around. Um, I had two, so here we go. Lucky, lucky, lucky. If you guys want it, there you go. That's the Metal Legend. Metal Legend Edition. And, oh my gosh, I got an AP here. I got to show it to you guys because it's really gorgeous. Whew. Here it is. Hell Witch Hellborn Metal Legend Edition. This is the AP4. AP4. Jim Ballant is the cover artist. It's AP4. Only got the one. All right. Another real fun one. This one's an AP. It is homage. This is the Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss 1. This is the Super Metal Edition. It's homage to Action Comics number 1. This is a metal cover. It is an AP. And once it's gone, it's gone. Slide this over, slide that over, and bink, 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 bink. All right. Let me see what you guys' questions are. Oh. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That was a good one, Ace. Good one. Good to see you too, man. How was your weekend? I hope it was well. Carmen, always good to see you. How are you? Hope you uh, had a wonderful weekend. Let's see. Who else we got? <laughs> I think uh, it's okay. Any beverages out of a coffin piece of merch tastes like badassery and awesome. It does, especially shots out of the uh, coffin comic shot glass. Those are truly <laughs> amazing uh, and full of badassery and awesomeness. It's very true. Let's see who else we got in the room today. I mean, there's Ace. Jay, how are you, dude? How's it going, man? Wow, look at all these beautiful people. Oh, Eric, how are you, man? Good to see you. Hope everyone's doing well at home. Hope you are doing even better today on this Monday. Thank you for joining us. The last item I want to show that I uploaded in the catacombs. This is a CGC Signature Series book. This is Lady Death Icon number one, signed by Mike DeBalfo, Brian Polito. This is a virgin art edition, and it is a BP. 9.8. CGC Signature Series. I got a couple of different things in the catacombs. There's some graded books. I don't know what is left on those. Um, 
So definitely check it out. Some other really cool things that are going on besides what's going on in the catacombs. We also got, if you guys are just joining us, um, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, we just put out for the weekend our glassware for sale. Um, some stuff is flying out, so if you've been debating, pick it up. Coffee tastes better in a Coffee Comics coffee mug. Oh yeah, I'm ready to dominate the day now with my Coffee Comics coffee mug. And after drinking that, I, I gotta have some water to chase it down with. There you go. Nothing like water out of my Coffee Comics stadium mug. Um, some other really cool stuff. The wife and I are doing well. Hope you are doing good too, man. <laughs> well, Jay, I'm sure you did it well because you are a talented man. I'm sure you shined them on good, my brother. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. But yeah, we've got shot glasses now in the merch section. We got the pint glasses now. We have our coffee mugs. We have our stadium cups. We have cowbells. You can get those cowbells you always see us with. They're available now. Quantities are limited, so get what you can because they're amazing. We even have the foam fingers are available. Check this stuff out. We got it all over. Check out in the Coffin Comic Shop in the merch section is where you're going to find all this and a lot of other really cool items. Real quick, I want to ask you guys and talk to you a little bit about the Kickstarter that wraps up here in a few days. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and check out and see what's available. Maybe we'll have a few surprises from folks seeing us here at HQ. Ooh, beautiful wall of awesomeness. That's good, Eric. Okay. We've got the cauldron. Now, what's been cool about this is anytime you back our Kickstarter, the Hellwitch Kickstarter, we're going to put your number on one of these tickets here, and we're going to put it inside the cauldron. And then we're going to pull that number, and you have a chance of receiving, added to your order, an original Art Mendoza. You can also get the Lemon Hellwitch Ash Can, limited to 50. The Violet, which is limited to 100. Or the Hollow Foil, which is limited to 25. We'll pick... We pick your number, spin the wheel of coffin, <clears throat> and whatever it lands on, you will receive that inside your Kickstarters um, for backing us. That's really cool. There's the other original, Harrigan original art. And I believe there was another announcement, but I'm not going to show that to you guys because I'm sure there'll be somebody here that'll be showing it off for y'all. But if you're uh, unfamiliar with Hellwitch... Go ahead and reach out. I think it's more for our weight thing, and there's a lot of packing they're going to need to do for those because of the mugs. Um, but yeah, reach out to us at inquiries at coffincomics.com if you have any question, guys, please. <clears throat> right here we have the... Uh... <laughs> well, Eric, that, that, that would make it fair for everyone, but I do have my fingers crossed we pull your backer number, so... I know you're a big Mendoza fan, so I got my fingers crossed for you for that one, dude. Um, so uh, anyone who has not been familiar with our Hell Witch character, um, it is her third chapter, Sacrilegious. Um, if you are interested, we do have chapters one and two available. You can either get it on Kickstarter or at the Coffin Comic Shop, however you prefer it. We've got the volumes you need to help get you started. And also, we announced that there will be some more beautiful metal editions. This is the violet metal we're going to be just randomly tipping in throughout all orders. It's done by Don Tag. And over here, this is the gold edition, Hellwitch. Dude, you never know. I was shocked when I uh, did uh, one of the, uh, you know, our little plugs, promos for the Kickstarter. Um, some of the low numbers uh, I, I pulled, I was like, wow. Normally, it's, it's weird. It seems like um, the last Kickstarter, it seemed like lower numbers and mid numbers were being pulled and not a lot of the high ones. And this one, it's like, wow, a lot of the high ones seem to get pulled. But it's all the luck of the draw. I mean, you see me. 
I, I pretend like I'm a blind man digging through this. I don't want to see. I just want to try to pick a great number because, you know, you're all beautiful people. And, you know, we love you all here. Also, these are our mystery envelopes. <laughs> Look at this. There is going to be some Don McTeague hollow foil randomly put in. Randomly. Dude, Jay, you got a number three? Dude, that's, a, that's amazing considering how fast that Kickstarter launched and just exploded. Wow. Props to you, dude. Look at that. Look at all that beautiful art. These are all mystery envelopes. You don't know what you're going to get because it's a mystery. It comes in a nice, beautiful envelope. You open it up and look at all these beautiful treasures to be held. Oh, and that's just, this is what we're showing. It's, there's also stuff that just randomly gets tipped in, just randomly. So that's crazy. So probably people are asking, oh, shoot, you know what? I backed the Kickstarter, but all I got was, was the Premiere Edition, or all I did was get digital. Well, we can help you with that. We can help you with doing an add-on. Well, some people are wondering, oh, what's an add-on? Well, it's like, um, say you backed us. And you're kind of looking around and looking at all the different items we're offering. And then something catches your eye that you didn't see maybe before. Well, what you do is you're going to go ahead and uh, don't change your selection. Don't change anything. All you're going to need to do is adjust your pledge amount. And how you do it is step one, send us a message either on Kickstarter or email us at inquiries at coffincomics.com. And uh, to let us know uh, what you would like to add on. Step two, we will get back to you to confirm. We'll go ahead and take your message. We'll reply to you to confirm your add-ons. We would also be happy to assist you with how to add the funds to your pledge if needed. Some of you guys are our pros. Some of you guys are already doing this. And it's like, wow, I just checked the math. They're dead on. So a lot of you folks um, are just plowing right through this, but this is to, you know people who maybe haven't done a lot of stuff on Kickstarter and want to add something else to their collection that'll be reaching them. Um, step three, adjust your pledge, and then you need to reply back and let us know. Adjust the dollar amount uh, of your pledge as instructed if you haven't already, and be sure to message us uh, so that we can make sure there was a confirmation of that change, and we'll definitely document it. And that's it. That's all you need to do. You're done. It's really easy. Or as Brandy says, easy peasy. Um, literally, yeah, guys, just reach out to us. There's only four days left. Friday, we are wrapping this bad girl up. This bad girl has just been dominating Kickstarter. <laughs> but we've added, you guys have added the little risque. The wooden coin, I mean, it's just exploding. We are uh, already surpassed the whole number I thought we would be at. So keep it coming, guys. You are making um, Hell Witch's dream come true of being a dominant woman in the comics industry. So look at all this stuff. This is what lucky numbers that get pulled can receive extra. Just we're tipping it in for you. Tipping it into your order. You have the lemon ash can, you have the violet ash can, and you have the very beautiful hollow foil ash can. But you also have original art by Dan Mendoza, David Harrigan, and there'll be a new one announced today. I want to let Brian or whoever's going to announce it announce it for you. I don't want to steal the thunder. But look at this. This right here is the Sacrilegious Risque Edition. Beautiful. Sun K. She is hot. She is burning it up. Every time I see an edition with her name on it, it tends to just fly right off the shelves, fly right out of it. <laughs> well, you know, Jay, I can't decide that, but I can definitely put it in someone's hands because I thought that was a very beautiful, beautiful poem. Um, yes, that original art edition is stunning. Um, but yeah, Jay, I, I totally, totally agree with you. Uh, I would love to see that printed. That was really well done. Um, anyone didn't know, uh, last week Jay uh, wrote a poem and placed it on the Sworn Nation. And with his permission, I read it out loud. And it was really, really damn good. So uh, go over to Sworn Nation and um, let Jay uh, just blow your mind with uh, really beautiful poetry he wrote about 
you know, the sworn about coffin comics, about all of us. And it's, it was really well done. It's a beautiful poem. So check it out, guys. But yeah, I, I, that would be a great way to have an introduction in a graphic novel or something. I'll see what I can do for Jay. I won't make any promises because, like I say, that's totally outside of uh, my realm of experience here. Um, my, my realm of experience is just to show you guys all the beauty that we have and um, you know, show you what we're up to and show you all the shenanigans. Look at this really nice display Brandy did um, to promote the new stuff that we put on the store. Those those foam fingers, guys. They are available, finally. Foam fingers. Cowbells. Uh-oh, Jimmy's here to adjust something. <laughs> what needs to be adjusted? Is it the sound? Or did it unplug? Yeah, 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 the sound. Let's, let's see if I can find the button here. Oh. Uh-oh. Let the folks know. Let's go. Yeah, there you go. Hi. Hi. There you go. That was my Playboy pose. I won't do the penthouse and other ones. Those are too raunchy for television. Way too raunchy even for the internet. You don't want to see all of that. You have oh. such a powerful voice that you... Uh, you <laughs> I blew it up? Yeah, you, you get a lot of feedback. Let me see that first. I fixed it. All right, I have a loud, booming voice, and that's from a rock star, guys. That's awesome. I, I feel real good about myself now. I have a large, booming voice. All right, here is the heavy metal edition for Hellwitch Sacrilegious. This is chapter three. Guys... If you've been hemming and hawing, this is the hollow foil edition. We've got four days, four days left. Get those add-ins on. Tell someone, hey, you know, I want to try this new comic book. And if you think this is the book, check them out. Introduce them to Coffin Comics. Introduce them to Hellwitch. From there, introduce them to La Muerta and Lady Death, of course. Also, I've been seeing a lot of uh, people placing orders for uh, Zach. The zombie exterminator trades. I saw like six or seven out. So thank you guys for uh, backing us and supporting Zach too. He is a part of this universe. Let's not forget about Zach. So this is what we got going on, guys. <laughs> it was funny. In the graves, I was going to be in the graves, but I was actually, because um, it was filmed at my comic shop I used to manage, um, I actually had to do a convention, so I couldn't uh, be there for it. I think I had to do like Dallas or a show like that, so I was unable to be a part of the uh, Graves film, and it really bummed me out, because um, I would have loved to have been in that movie. That was a really cool flick. Exactly, Miguel. Exactly. You want to know why? Because... You know, everyone's talking about our books. Everyone's sharing our books. Everyone's just talking about our universe. And look at all this. Beautiful Zach's laid out for people. Whew, Zach. I love seeing that. That's awesome. Got people giving Zach some love. You're Zach Lou. Eat right, Miguel. Sorry, I'm slurring my words. I should have done a shot. Maybe I'd speak a little better today. But it's Monday. Hey, hey, hey. First, feels like the first real day of winter here in Arizona. Thank God it's not hot. It's just darn right beautiful. All right, let's see what I got. David Harrigan is watching. Oh, man, that's awesome. We got some good people in the house, folks. Also, another thing I noticed that I thought I would let you guys know, Friday the 13th exclusives, Friday the 13th exclusives. It's our second favorite day of the year, Friday the 13th here at Coffin Comics. And I thought I'd show you guys what we, we're up against. We got some amazing stuff. Friday the 13th by David Harrigan. Now this, this, I really, really, these are beautiful guys. I just got these this morning. There will only be 113 serial numbered copies. Check that out. Boom. David Harrigan does it again. Here it is. And we're doing a limit of two copies per customer per household. Duplicate orders will be canceled. We want to try to make sure as many people can get one of these in their hands. But check this out. Here's one of the prints Mr. Harrigan did for us. That beautiful right there. That is badass. Mad death. That is so amazing. Exactly. Yeah, I, I really love, I agree with you, Haley. His stuff is amazing. I mean, ugh. we we are really blessed to have the talented artists that work with us and 
have continued to work with us in some cases for years. Um, but yeah, another, here's another print edition by David Harrigan. These are Friday the 13th. These will be available on Friday, everybody. This is the type of stuff you can find in the Coffin Comics newsletter. It's just not like a couple pages. I mean, it shows you everything, all the shenanigans we are up to every day of the week, pretty much. Even tells you, hey, here's some items we just loaded up on the store. Hey, we're going to show off uh, this artist stuff. Here's what we got. There's very limited quantities. I mean, we just love... This is probably the most informative VIP newsletter I have seen. Uh, and it's all about just everything we do. Everything we want to put out there for you guys. All of our crazy stuff. Join us at the Swarm Nation on Facebook. Guys, we love our fans. We really work hard for the fans, for the Swarm, for all of these folks. Because without you, we just wouldn't be here. So real quick, we have new merchandise on the store. Our Hellwitch Kickstarter is wrapping up in four to five days. I highly recommend, if you haven't backed it and you've just been kind of thinking about it, that, that window of opportunity is slowly closing in on you. We're going to be shutting it down on Friday. So, go ahead, see what we have. Message us at inquiries at Coffin Comics or on Kickstarter if you want to do an add-on. Or you haven't backed anything on Kickstarter, you're really liking um, what we do here, I humbly invite you to click on that link, go ahead, sign up for a Kickstarter and get those additions. We have a really good value. There's if you're only into digital, we have a digital option. But if you want the physical copies, oh man, do you get some amazing stuff. The free bonus items alone are worth the price of admission. We cram those little bags with as much amazing fun swag that we can for you guys. I, I swear, some of these times, these, those little bags were just putting more and more in it. They're just bust at the seams, bust at the seams. For those who backed us before or received the Kickstarters, tell everyone in that comic section, holy cow, I love the free bonus items because they are so worth it. I mean, it, free, F-R-E-E, -E, the f, f word that's a four-letter word that we like better than the fo. No, I won't go there. I won't go there. No, no. Uh, will the Fiend Club be making a return? Any more updates on the Lady Death Kickstarter? As of now, I don't have anything um, at all that I've heard of yet. I know we're still gathering all the stuff together. I mean, that Lady Death Kickstarters are huge and they get bigger and bigger. So <laughs> I don't know how Brandy and them do this. Um, I worked in the warehouse for a year um, before I started doing the inside sales, um, which is what I'm doing now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, the first Kickstarter I remember pulling for was actually for the first Hellwitch. Uh, that, so that was my first time working in the warehouse and trying to get a feel of how everything was. And um, we're now on our third Hellwitch Kickstarter. I think I have done um, four Hellwitch or four Lady Death. Kickstarters and our Kickstarters just get bigger. Just when you're like, oh, that's after every one, we're like, oh man, this is crazy. How are we going to beat that? It, just, it keeps coming and keeps going because we're doing something right because you guys are firing off on all cylinders and just and sharing the links. And, you know, I, I like that you guys are all really welcoming to all everyone who's um, been coming into this show. Uh, everyone's just accepting it's like hey come in and join the fun this is what we're all about um and the same thing on the facebooks and everywhere else i see on social media you guys are just amazing um uh, really friendly bunch of folk um and that's why we are sworn to them and they're sworn to us we all about having fun um let's see i don't have any updates on that I figure with the Fiend Club, I, I don't know if that can be returned because I, I don't know the reasoning behind that. I remember the original uh, 
God, back in the 90s, I believe there was a Fiend Club. My friend Dave was a member, and he just went to town on that club. So I probably, I don't know. There's no. Uh, if you want, you can um, see if I can't get some format answer for you guys uh, and see what come up. But I don't know if we can use the term Fiend Club. I don't know. But we'll find out. Ace, I really am looking forward to meeting you. I'm looking forward to meeting Actually, everyone that's been messaging me and, and all you guys who, who um, I'm getting emails and messages back and forth and, and getting to know you all, um, I can't wait for Swarm Fest in 2022. I cannot wait um, because I'm glad we moved it back because it just wouldn't be the same unless everyone from around the world who is a member of the Swarm can be here. That's, that's the only way this show, the Swarm Fest, will work is we have to have everyone, all of you guys, be able to come from around the world because it just is going to be one of the coolest parties in the world and it's all for you and we are so proud to put it on and we just couldn't do it without everyone. So everyone has to be there for it. So check it out. There is a link there too. Click on the link for the tickets. It tells you the times. It'll be here in beautiful downtown Mesa. Got to check it out, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you've been thinking about uh, telling you Sworn Fest is going to be the best show, don't go. Well, boo-hoo. You'll have to wait till we do another one. So everybody, it's really true. Really, really, really true. I know, I can't wait to meet everyone too. It's like I get to meet Eric, I get to meet Ace, Haley. Uh, psh, my wife is just, actually, she had a dream that um, you showed up at our doorstep. It was like, we're here to help. <laughs> you and your husband. It's like, oh my God, uh, okay, Haley's here. And so my wife is really looking forward to meeting you. Let's see who else do we got in the house today? Miguel, of course, yes. David Harrigan. Thank you very much for contributing, especially for the new Friday the 13th editions that you did for us. They're stunning. They're beautiful. Don't delay, guys. There's th those Friday the 13th editions are going to go really fast, like super fast. Let's see. Who else? What's this? Susie and I are going to go paint Arizona black. Yes. You too will. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guys, Infernal Holidays is cutting off here in exactly... One hour and 23 minutes, the Infernal Holidays, boom, exclusives are done. Um, we will be cutting them off at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is the time we're uh, almost at here. We're at 3.37. So, like I said, you have one hour, 23 minutes to go ahead and place your order for the exclusive for the Infernal Holidays. So, don't delay. These are really cool additions. The prints you should probably will be able to get after the cutoff, but the comic editions, no, they will be done. And we will give them the serial number from the orders placed at 5 p.m. today. So if you've been hemming, you've been hawing, don't get it now. These are really beautiful editions. The metal one looks stunning. I can't wait to see those metals come in. I just can't wait to show those off. But of course, they'll probably be sold out. So I don't know what I'll be able to show off. Hopefully, I, hopefully there'll be enough uh, AP and BPs I can at least uh, put out there for you guys, for all you big fans out there. Um, Coffin-shaped books should be coming in now. If you guys notice, whenever we do the um, uh, exclusives, uh, when we do our promos, we'll always try to put a date, an estimated date of what we're looking at because, I mean, these got to be cut a certain way and make sure everything lines up perfectly. Um, I am looking forward to seeing how they're going to look finished. Um, I know Brian has been talking about this idea for months, so it's definitely something um, we're excited for. I was pumped. I thought it was going to be like the uh, old Evil Ernie edition where it, it was just a comic and it folded out and it was the shape of a comic. I didn't know the book is actually cut into a shape of a comic. Um, we had to design it a certain way. Brian, just being the mad genius he is, is like, I want to do it, so we're going to do it. And he did it, just like he does with everything else. He's going to do it. He's going to find a way to figure it out. If he can't do it today, he's going to do it tomorrow, or he's going to do it next week. He's going to do it whenever, because the man's a mad genius. Um, I'm hoping to get him in now, because I really want to see these. 
Why are you going to make me work twice as hard, Miguel? Why? I already worked twice as hard already for you people. I had to do an extra show just because of my love for you guys. I really do love uh, these one-hour shows and 30-minute shows I do on Wednesday with you all. Um, so real quick, I'm just going to recap um, some of the stuff I got in the catacombs. Uh, a lot of this stuff you guys definitely like. I've seen it um, just... I, I've seen the catacombs the first two weeks just get totally obliterated. There, there was hardly anything left. You guys are devouring everything. And you know what? It warms my heart to know I can find some really cool stuff for you guys that you enjoy. Um, and I think it's, it's all about helping you guys complete your collections. So let's do it in a reverse. <clears throat> He's messaging me now. Oh, it's Dakota. Also, I want to give a shout out to uh, Dakota Reese. She's really been working hard. She just took over a new position in the company. And she's really been busting her butt, um, trying to uh, get the store uh, up, looking the website looking right. She's really done an amazing job. So um, if everyone could just give a round of applause to Dakota. Thank you very much, Dakota. You've been doing a great job. Um, and I can't do my job without uh, you being a team member. So thank you very much. So here's some uh, cool things we got right here. Can Brian sign shot glasses? Well, I'm sure he could, but I, I'd be afraid of that rubbing off real quick. I mean, maybe he could put a piece of tape over, but man, Haley, you want to drink out of this cup. Trust me. You want to do shots out of these cups. And they're great for measuring. So say I'm at home and I want a rum and coke. Oh, fill up my rum. There's my shot of rum. Whoosh. Mad scientist at work. I'm getting ready to have a rum coke. Woohoo! All right. Going in reverse. This is the Lady Death Icon number one. This is a CGC Signature Series 9.8, signed by Brian and Mr. DeBelfo. And this is a BP edition, folks. That is a BP. Ooh, pardon me. Over in the scratch and dent, I added a couple items. Excuse me. I have added the Swimsuit Naughty Premier Edition. There was only 250 of these. This is signed, as is the La Muerta Naughty Edition from Ascension. This is also signed. They do come with the COAs that you see on the back here. And these are in the Scratch and Dent. If you guys are looking for some really sweet deals, check out the Scratch and Dents. I got some really nice stuff on there for you. Also, the last three so far of the Oblivion Kiss Chase Editions. If you guys are trying to complete your runs of that David Finch, beautiful image, Gotham, I believe we called it. Well, now's your chance. And I know lots of people always ask me, oh, what's, which one, if I buy it, will you tell me what's in it? Or will you pull the one you want? As much as I would love to do something very hooligan-ish, um, I couldn't do that to you guys, man. I want it to be exciting. It's like um, knowing what you're going to get for Christmas or, or your birthday. And um, when the day comes, it's like, ah, it's just not as surprising. So I can't ruin that for you. I hate to do that. Found one. This is the Blasphemy Anthem Metal Legend Edition. This is number 12. There is the Metal COA. So I had uh, one of these earlier on the catacombs. It is gone. Someone scooped it up. So if you've been wanting one of these Metal Legends, well, there is one available right now in the catacombs. Another Metal Legend here. This is the Hell Witch Hellborn Metal Legend Edition. Jim Ballant, this is an artist proof, and it is an AP number four. AP number four metal legend. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. So one thing that is different around here is the uh, first shot from the coffin glass. Oh, yeah, dude. I'll actually put one in my backpack for Sworn Fest Ace because uh, you and I are going to be parting pretty hard. Jay, thank you. Um, <laughs> I need a remote piston for a pipe man. <laughs> I love you guys. You guys uh, make working at Coffin Comics <laughs> worth every minute of my day. All right, this is the uh, Lady Death Extinction Express. This is a B, another BP edition. Remember, today's 
brought to you by the letters B and P. This is the Mendoza. This is Chaotica Bikini Edition. Get it, get it. A BP, and it comes with that really beautiful, sexy silver COA. Another great homage, and this is an AP5, AP5. Marat Michaels is the artist, along with Dan Feldmeyer. This is the Lady Death Apocalyptic Vest Super Metal Edition. Super Metal, there is your AP sticker. There is your APCOA. I have the one. One and done, folks, one and done. Another BP for you. This is the Miss Death. This is the Miss Emerald Death Edition. This is another homage. These are what you'll find in the catacombs. Also another BP edition, Damnation Game Strike Edition. Howdy doody. You can come in. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Don't be afraid. They don't bite. <laughs> So I have one of these. Ms. Brandy is in the house stepping in to see hi. Say hi to you all you guys. Yep, there's Brandy's hands. Brandy's hands. Also, thank you guys for all the wonderful wishes you gave her too yes, over the thank weekend. You for all my birthday wishes. That was a lot of fun, guys. And the cake was so, so good. Fun. Oh my god, I remember asking Mel, I was like, is is the uh, cake Haley, inside? Haley says they bite. They bite? Well, I like those kinds of biting. Oh, <laughs> It just turned into a whole new show here, folks. Are you ready? It's time for the Brandy Boudoir Show. <laughs> Jay, yes. Um, see, I'm going to need, because Ace Bonnie's going to be doing shots from the shot glass with me at Swarm Fest. And then... Miguel. Oh, what are you doing, Miguel? Miguel told me, shh, because I talked about Oh, that's okay. And then, Jay, I'm going to need the coffee in the Coffin Comics coffee mug so I'm not hung over the next day. So I will do shots with Ace and then coffee drinks with Jay. And we can switch it up on and off all day, all day long during the Swarm Fest weekend, okay? We're need all the coffee. coffee and liquor. I will not be sicker. I'm telling you, I will be amazing. Rocket fuel. Rocket fuel. Next up from the amazing Scott Lewis. It's another BP. Yes, right. It's a BP edition. That this is, is the uh, Serene. Yeah. I've never seen that. This one. is an older one. And what's cool about, I, I love doing the research on these books because we do some really fun stuff on the back. Like, this is how old school it is. It's handwritten by Brian, wow. APBP. Dude, that's, that's how old school. Cool. And it's an AP3. So, this is probably the last one I have. So, all you Scott Lewis fans, here's a BP edition for you. It's an APBP. It's one of those weird ones where I'm like, I'm going to flip a quarter because it could be both because it says both. Well, I decided to Christian this the BP edition. Hold on. I'm, why are our jaws going to be very tired? We need to go back. <laughs> Wait, Haley said our jaws. What? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Haley. All the sworn. Our jaws are going to be. Oh, she's replying to Ace. Oh. Oh. What uh oh. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we totally do bite, yada, yada, uh, who we biting? Oh. <laughs> and oh. Haley said, ha ha, Brandy Boudoir show. Okay. There we go. There you go. There's a new show. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Everyone, thank you again for uh, Brandy. She's yeah. been really working hard for thank you guys. Thank you for all the wishes. Yes. I love you all. Thank you, now Brandy. I gotta go drink more coffee. There's plenty. <laughs> we love our coffee here at HQ, in case you couldn't tell. We are coffee junkies. Um, I always say there's some days I wish I could inject it into my veins. And I hate needles, but I love coffee. So anyways, Scott Lewis fans, here it is. This is an old classic one. This is back when Brian and everyone was actually hand filling in the numbers. So very old. Um, for coffin years, I really love finding this stuff. I especially like looking how the books changed. Um, how you could tell, like, it seemed like some of them were even handmade books. Um, I mean, we started off small, but because of you guys, 
sky's the limit for us now. You guys are beautiful for doing that for us. Thank you. And the last BP edition I have, Lady Death Gallery, Deathcrawler Platinum Edition. Another one by Marat Michaels and Dan Feldmeyer. Sorry for the cleavage shot. <laughs> so check it out, all this stuff. Uh, for those who are new to the show, we do things a little different here on the Coffee Comics one. We have links that you click on to do the shopping. So you can go ahead and click on the links. There's a link for our Kickstarter, which our newest campaign is for Chapter 3 of Hell Witch. Sacrilegious. And then um, we also have opened up into our beautiful Coffin Comics shop. We now have our mugs, our shot glasses, the awesome pint glasses, and someone walked off with my stadium cup. Oh, and we have stadium cups. Really cool stuff. We've also added the foam fingers. Those are available now. You guys see them with us uh, sometimes at cons or sometimes even here at HQ when we're doing our videos. We got our foam fingers going. We got the cowbells. You can now get a cowbell. Those are now available. So, guys, gals, fiends, and the sworn, check it out. Click on the links. Check out all the stuff we have. If you want to try our product out or Lady Death for the first time, there should be a link also for a 15-page digital download for you to check out the first chapter of Lady Death's new adventures here at Coffin Comics and the beginnings of the Coffin universe. Um, our characters have been uniting as events get bigger, bigger in the world we've created. Our characters are now meeting. They are forging alliances and they're there to take on those that will oppose them. So definitely check it out guys. Um, if you haven't done it, Get it? Yeah, Brandy did steal. You're right, Miguel. She did steal my water. Damn, and I'm thirsty. Thanks, Brandy. You stole my water. Oh, wait, no, she didn't. Mr. Skull over here did. <sighs> Better start the jaw. Oh. Yeah, Irish whiskey would go good in this mug. I agree, Miguel. Um, oh, wait, there we go. An Irish Coffee would be amazing in this. Yeah, I agree. And in here, with the shot glass, you can do an Irish bomb combination. And I haven't done those in a while. <clears throat> so real quick, I got a few more minutes. Thank you everybody, again, who have been backing us on Kickstarter. Hell Witch Sacrilegious is just blowing up. Um, it just keeps, it's a juggernaut. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, just when we think, um, we've seen it all, you guys prove us wrong, just like you always do. Just when we think we've seen it all, you guys take it to a whole nother level and psh, you guys just keep making that level. Boom, boom. Just make us keep working and moving up and embracing you all. So thank you very much guys. <clears throat> also on Wednesday, there will be some new stuff, including... I'm adding more CGC Signature Series folks, uh, so keep your eyes out for those popping up. Um, like I say, on the catacombs, it's usually a small selection of stock I put up there. Um, but if there's something that I want to feature that does have like, you know, 10 items, well, I'm going to put it up there um, for you guys to pick up. Um, we have a lot of stuff to select. Click on the Coffin Comics shop link so you can pick up what we got almost an hour left. Yes, there is exactly one hour left for the Infernal Holidays exclusives. At 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, we are cutting it. And whatever orders come in at 5 p.m., that's going to be the numbers of these editions. So if you've been thinking, oh, I'll, I'll hold off on it, I'll hold off on it. Well, you, you got just over an hour. And then it's poof, gone. We're shutting it down. 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. You have exactly one hour and about five minutes left. Get these exclusives. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to us at inquiries at coffincomics.com. If you want to do any add-ons over a Kickstarter, well, let me just reiterate what we're going to do. 
Say so you want to add something to your pledge. You're like, I really, I have a lot of, I have a digital copy, but I want a physical copy because I really want that jeweled edition. It's beautiful. Well, the first thing you just do to start, keep your main rewards selection where it is at. Don't change your reward selection. We, you're only going to want to adjust the pledge amount. And that's why you want to reach out to us because we're going to help you do that. Step one, send us a message over at Kickstarter or you can send it to inquiries at coffincomics.com. Step two, let us know, um, excuse me, step one, once you reach out to us, let us know what you want to add. What is it, what edition you wanted to add? If you're all digital, hey, I want that jeweled edition. Can I add that to my pledge? We're going to go ahead and get back to you to confirm, hey, we got your message. We'll reply to you to confirm about your add-ons. We'll also be happy to assist you on how to add funds to your pledge if needed. A lot of you guys already know what you're doing. You're pros. You're doing it already for us. Um, but for those of you who don't, you know, we'll reply back and say, hey, give you instructions on how to do it step by step. Three, once you adjust your pledge amount, let us know. Reply back to us. It's like, hey, I went ahead and followed the step you guys asked me to do. I have adjusted my pledge. Here's where it should be at, and that's what I placed it at. We'll go ahead, confirm it, get everything locked down, reply back. Thank you very much for your support. Boom, on to the next. This is what we do, folks. We are all about strong customer service. We are about giving our all to you guys all the time. And we are all about having fun. We are about community. We are about coming together. And we are about all things sworn. So before I wrap it up, there's also, wow, I got a lot of messages today already. Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket. Um, real quick, uh, Brandy did not steal my, steal my cup. Thank you very much, Brandy, for not stealing my cup. I need another drink. <clears throat> we do, Haley. I, I'm glad you guys do it. I hope you guys realize how much of our work is for you guys to make, um, just make it a good experience for you. Make sure we're giving you our all and our best all the time. So we try to, we use a lot of energy in this house. That's why we drink lots of coffee. <laughs> you know, we're, we're really charged up because we want to be the best we can be all the time for you guys. So this is going to do it for me. Uh, I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. Follow those links, click on those links, check out Kickwatch, uh, Kickstarters, Hell Witch, Chapter 3, Sacrilegious. There is only till Friday we are stopping it, so don't delay. Back us today on Kickstarter. Also, if you're wanting some of the glasswares, those are live and up on the Coffee Comic Shop right now. So pick them up. There's a lot of these are selling fast, so if you guys um, have always been wanting this, because you'll see us, you know, during our Kickstarter videos or what have you, you know, enjoying some beverages out of these or doing shots or enjoying our daily cup of coffee here at HQ. Well, they're now available for you guys to purchase. Oh, boy. Trying to drink uh, the soda and the coffee together. Um, weird combination. Don't mix. Um, although I did kind of like that weird Coca-Cola black they put out where it's Coca-Cola and coffee fusion. I know, I'm weird. I should probably be disgusted with myself, but it's actually not bad. So I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys Wednesday at the Catacombs. Noon time, AZ time. Talk to you guys later. Thank you so very much. Everyone had a beautiful rest of your day. Bye-bye.